for all my process builders out there and ClickUp Power users that are spending a lot of time building out processes and workflows and saving them as templates, adding in custom fields for your team to use, I wanna go over what ClickUp 3.0 is really gonna to bring to the table to help you speed up this process. Um, and this is gonna be mainly focused on the task view. Super nice, super clean, and allows you to actually edit and see custom fields of subtasks in the parent task view. So let's say I'm building out a process for my workflow for this blog post. I have my parent task, that's my deliverable, and now I need the subtasks that are actually the steps that we're gonna to take to finalize and create this blog post. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click in into the task view and you'll see some of this is similar in nature. There's a bit of an update in the UI, but we'll see down here is our subtasks. That's the first place that I wanna go. So before you could add subtasks to the parent task this way, and you could edit the custom fields, but you couldn't see the custom fields that you were actually editing. So it didn't make sense to really build a process out here. It made more sense to spend your time in the list view. So what I'm able to do now is I can, if one, you create this process outside of ClickUp, maybe you put it in the spreadsheet so you have different rows with all the steps that are necessary to complete a blog post. If you do that, you could do this before in 2.0, but you could paste all of those steps in there and I can easily right away create 16 tasks. These are all the steps that it's gonna take me to complete this blog post. So now, as you'll see, I'm able to see the due date, priority, assignee, and my custom fields here. Before in 2.0, I couldn't see that information. It would just be the subtasks, and that was it. And if you wanna add anything else, as you'll see, you have all your options with all of your custom fields available here. So there's just a lot more that you can see in this task view. It makes it much easier. In addition, if you wanna make this full screen too, I can just get rid of the other things that I was seeing makes it super easy for me to edit a process and build it right here in the task view. So in addition, now I can also utilize my multi-select toolbar. So if I wanna click all these at one time, if I wanna apply a custom field to these, I can do that. Otherwise, I can just hold down shift and select all of these. I have my multi-select toolbar up here. Let's say I need to set a custom field and just edit this task type. We'll say these are actionable tasks. There we go. Did that super quickly and I didn't have to go to the list view at all to do that, and I can see it here without it sort of just disappearing from this view. Let's go back to the task. In addition, you'll see over here, if you wanna see your process and navigate back and forth through different subtasks, as you can see over here, I'm able to do that. Can also add a subtask pretty easily. It makes it way easier to navigate between subtasks and the parent task. So let's say after that I'm done, I get everything in. I could add the due dates here, but one thing and one tip I'll give you on how to actually add due dates in is I'll get out and you'll see it's all built here in my list view. And I wanna to go to Gantt. And this is how I love to add a due dates because I think it's much easier. So let's say we're just building a process and if I save this as a template and click up, I can remap it later on, but I just wanna add in the due dates. Instead of going one by one inside of that um, list view or the task view, I can come here and you'll see I can schedule the task this way and I'm just gonna add all these in day after day, and I can go all the way to my last task. So that makes it super easy for me to start adding the tasks, and then right here, after I do those, I can start adding in the dependencies. So it makes it much faster than me coming in here and adding in the due dates that way. Depends on what you like, but I think in the Gantt view, it's gonna save you a ton of time. So a lot of fun updates coming from ClickUp 3.0. We'll continue to post content through Zenpilot on updates that we're seeing that are gonna really help you increase your productivity for your team. But hopefully this is helpful. Any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll get right back to you. Thanks.